Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about two reaction theory. This two reaction theory belongs to only for synchronous machines. Double revolving theory is there, don't confuse. Double revolving theory belongs to single phase induction machine. But two reaction theory belongs to synchronous machine. Cross field theory is there. That is belongs to DC machines and induction machines. But see here, here are the two reaction theory. In this first, I am going to take cylindrical machine. Cylindrical rotor and salient pole. Salient pole rotor here. In that, for example, this is my cylindrical rotor and this is my salient pole rotor. How it is? Actually, cylindrical rotor is like this. Here we have a slots. Here we have a slots like this. Here north pole and south pole. Here we have a winding which is a field winding. This is generally the cylindrical rotor. For example, I am taking a salient pole, four pole machine. For example, this is my salient pole rotor. Salient pole rotor is like this. Right. Here we have a winding on the rotor. S or no? This is my salient pole rotor. Where we have a north pole, south pole, north pole, south pole, etc. This is a cylindrical and salient pole rotors. Are you okay? Listening or not? Right, see here. Generally, we know, I already discussed, this is the D-axis and this is, which is in quadrature, is the Q-axis, right? Here, first of all, air gap, the air gap is, air gap is, same for D-axis and Q-axis, for D-axis and for Q-axis, same. If air gap is same, then what happened? Reluctance. Reluctance also same for Q axis and D axis. If the reluctance is same, flux is same for Q axis and D axis. Phi Q is equals to phi D. Air gap same, reluctance same, flux same. Leakage flux, for example, this is a Leakage flux also same. When leakage flux is same, reactance, leakage reactance, this XQ is equals to XD or XAQ is equals to XAD and leakage reactance is also same. Leakage reactance is also same. Therefore, finally, this XQ is exactly equals to XD, that is equals to XA, for example. Or simply, XQ is exactly equals to XD. There is no any change. If the reactances are same, if the reactances are same, then armature reaction along the Q axis is equals to armature reaction along the D axis. Is it okay? Is it visible or not? Right? So, armature reaction along the Q-axis is equal to armature reaction along the D-axis. Here we have only one reactance, only one reaction. In cylindrical machine, the air gap length is same and the reluctance is same and the leakage flux is same. Then reactance same and armature reaction also same. There is no change for Q-axis and D-axis. Are you okay? See here. Okay. So is it okay? 
right next uh, for sale and pull machine in sale and pull machine we know this is the d axis and this is the q axis see here here air gap length along the q axis is greater than air gap length along the d axis in the q axis air gap length is maximum then the reluctance along the q axis is greater than reluctance along the d axis if the reluctance is there reluctance and fluxes are inversely proportional to each other then the leakage flux along the q axis is less than leakage flux along the d axis here the flux is more in d axis if the flux is more then xaq and xl is less than x plus xad the reactance along the d axis also maximum because of leakage flux maximum then then automatically the xq is less than xd or xd is greater than xq here xd value is greater than xq yes sir no is it okay so now so now the armature reaction along the q axis is less than armature reaction along the d axis in d axis armature reaction is more because more flux is there if the flux is more then armature reaction also more here air gap length is more if air gap length is more flux is less if the flux is less then armature reaction also less so here the armature reaction is more and here the armature reaction is less and xq is less than xd these two are not equal xq and xd are not equal here not at all equal that's why the two reaction theory is applicable for salient coal machines only and here saliency saliency is equals to difference of reactances difference of reactances for our machine the saliency range is 1.5 to 2.5 per unit in generally the saliency range is 1.5 to 2.5 but in cylindrical machine the saliency xd minus xq is exactly equals to 0 for cylindrical machine saliency is equals to 0 but in salient pole machine saliency is there that's why this is a salient pole machine so what is final conclusion here the two reaction theory is applicable for sale and pull machines only two reaction theory is only applicable for only applicable for tell me tell me the answer sale and pull machine this is not applicable for cylindrical machine remember this okay is it okay right so this is about two reaction theory and here we have to find this xq and xd values xq and xd values by conducting a test tell me what test we have to conduct to find the xq and xd can you anyone yeah very good by conducting the slip test we can find xq and xd values of our synchronous machine let's conduct a slip test on sale and pull machine to find this xq and xd values